Hello and welcome back to another Art Fabula video. It's been a while, it's been a while. I have been very busy with Borgor, I have been uh, sending the pre-orders, painting the pre-orders, so I have been doing a lot of things. Um, but I wanted to make a little bit of time to uh, make this video because uh, in this period, in these uh, weeks that I've been making the pre-orders for Borgor, I have been thinking about the future of Art Fabula. Not only that, my future as well. It's, it's been happening a lot of things in my life in this time. My health hasn't been so well. I've been sitting and painting a lot. I have been getting um, pain in the back. Um, I have been thinking about uh, why should I do uh, if I make this a full-time job. And it's been happening a few things in my full-time job uh, as a teacher that are making everything moving faster and faster. So what is my future? I don't know what my future is, um, but I know what my present is, Art Fabula. I'm making toys and I'm making toys the best way I can in the situation I'm right now. So with my limited time, this is the only thing I can do. I can't do anything else. Uh, I'm in my limit right now. So I don't have time to produce more. I don't have time to paint more than I have been painting. Um, so um, what should I do? Did I came to a point that I should quit my daily job? Um, should I make Art Fabula my full-time job? I don't think I'm there. Yeah, right now, but uh, it's coming and it's, well, sooner than I thought. The problem is that if I make this art fabula my daytime job, then I should change a lot of things. For example, I can't paint um, eight hours a day. That's, that is going to kill me. Um, eight uh, hours a day with the fumes of the airbrush and um, with my, well, small, a studio here and um, it's not going to work so I need to make a few changes and a few things but painting is going to be the base of Art Fabula painting and designing the toys that is what it is 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 Art Fabula as you know I'm a designer I'm not an illustrator uh, and I can create the toys with my hands I know I'm, I'm a sculptor but I can sketch and I can get ideas and I can put the, those ideas on paper and then send to a professional modeler and make the toys that I want and then change and, and, and well, and create the toys that I have here in my head. So that's, that's my job right now. And it's a job that I think I can do very, very well. And I, I, I'm not ashamed of this. I have in another video a comment of someone that uh, told me that my toys are not mine because I didn't make them. Well, uh, those kind of comments are very... I, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I think it's uh, their frustration and um, it's not my problem at all. You can think what you want about Art Fabula. But the toys that I create are mine and only mine. So that's the way it is. Um, but should I change this thing for the future? Should I make the toys by myself? Should I learn 3D modeling? Should I learn uh, traditional sculpt? I think that's the way. Yes, I think that is the way that Art Fabula is going to evolve in the future. I would like to take home all the process that um, and other people are making for me. Um, and I will continue working with them, of course, but I want to centralize everything. I want to make um, the designs or try to make the designs by myself. And I'm not sure if I'm capable of doing this, but I will try, why not? But a lot of people are thinking right now, yeah, but wait a moment, um, that's not how it works. The normal thing is that you begin small and then you take people to work with you and create things together with you. And then you are not alone and you have a lot of people working for you. Yes, that's the way that normally is. But in my case, I have thought about this. I'm not an artist. Watch that video. I'm not an artist, but I feel like an artist, more like a craftsman. And this is my, my child. This art fabula is my thing. 
So I want to take all this process and put it and centralize it here um, around me um, because um, I feel good and I feel very, very good with Art Fabula. And I feel like uh, I'm another person, like, like, like I'm happy with Art Fabula. Um, the world out there, well, it's going to, to explode, <laughs> but I feel in peace in the studio making toys and talking with other people, with, with the fans, uh, with other artists from Japan and from all, all over the world. I feel in peace with myself and with everyone else when I'm doing this thing. So I want to control the process and I want to control this, but this is not the time right now. So the future of, of our fabula, I don't know what the future is, but I want to centralize everything. And I think you, you, you should do also, you should find your own recipe if you are doing the same thing. You should try a lot of things. Maybe these things don't work for you, but works for me. Um, but Art Fabula is going to get bigger and bigger. Something's happening um, and uh, that's the way it is. Um, I should begin to think about the future of Art Fabula. Another thing that I want to tell you is about the production of the toys. I will also try to, to produce all the toys in one place. And that's because not the cost, because that is a little bit more expensive than the other one, but because um, the people that I'm working with, this factory, these, these people that are helping me, um, are so incredible. Uh, they believe in me and they help me a lot. So um, this for me is more important that um, making a few more dollars for each toy. And the question is, is Art Fabula going to be a big business? Is it going to be a success business with a lot of million dollars? Well, that's, that's not what I want. What I want with Art Fabula is um, a business that can sustain myself. And I don't want to buy a Lamborghini or a big house. This is not what I want. I just want a house, this one, um, and a little studio, maybe a little bit bigger than this one. And I want to produce my toys. Maybe I will just make a little factory for, for Art Fabula, where I can produce my own Sofubi toys. That's my dream. Um, and, and then paint them. Um, but nothing more than that. Um, I just want to continue to produce new toys, to sell new toys, to meet people in Japan, in China, in, in everywhere. Um, and, and then sell my toys. And then I just want to be old uh, in this little uh, factory of happiness. Um, that's all. So my future, I don't know, but I know what I want. And what I want is to be happy, and what I want is Art Fabula to be a success uh, in this uh, kind of limited uh, version that I have in my mind. And that's all I wanted to say, just uh, giving a little update about, what, about what's happening here in Art Fabula, why I haven't put a video, um, and then what is coming for Art Fabula. I'm making a few toys, more, um, so there are a few things that is happening behind the curtains, um, so you will find more about Art Fabula in the next months. But um, right now, 2024 is Borgor, Gekogon, Bonnie, and soon the last Mechasar and Kingsar ever. I'm not going to produce those more. So thank you very much for being here. Uh, see you in another video. Bye.